Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back to Stone Valley here on Farming Simulator 22. It is time to harvest some sunflowers. As you can see here, we got the case harvester. Uh, that's all they had down there at the shop. Uh, they were not able to get any new equipment in as far as harvesters. And so, this is what we have. Uh, they would not rent it to me, actually. Uh, they said it's since the age uh, of the machine, they were just not able to uh, lease it out uh, just for liability reasons. So, we had to buy it. And, of course, it didn't have a header. So, we had to buy a header. Of course, we went, we went with the sunflower header here, trying to be a little specific on our harvesting needs. Uh, this will actually run a little quicker than a, a traditional corn header, so that will help us get done a little quicker since we are running with a limited width here. So, I am back down to pretty much nothing. Uh, this combine and the header wiped me out. As a matter of fact, I had to take a small little loan out from the bank. They had no problems loaning it to me, but I was debt free. And now I am back in just a tiny bit of debt. But I think I could get that paid off here pretty quick. Hopefully just as soon as we get done with this harvest. The nice thing about the sunflowers is it doesn't produce a whole lot of bulk. So I should be able to get through a lot of the harvesting without having to empty out the combine as frequently. So that'll be good uh, with a smaller combine here. We won't have to make so many stops. We did have a round of calves. It was time for the cows to have their babies, and so they did. So we have 50 brand new baby cows. Well, they're a couple months old by now. But the uh, mama cows are producing a lot of milk, and we're actually starting to get ahead of what we can sell. We were selling uh, the raw milk and also making a little bit of cheese there in our little fruit stand storage facility. But we're starting to get uh, more milk in than we can actually uh, sell in that manner. So I may have to look into uh, maybe taking the milk to a dairy somewhere. I've also considered, depending on how big our herd can get here, maybe putting in my own dairy building and that way I can make all the profits myself. So the bank did repo the tractor and the planter that Randy had got, and so that is gone. Uh, Miss Betty is down to no equipment up there at her farm. Uh, she's she's still upset about the whole thing, but I think she's most upset because she hadn't been able to get in touch with Randy, and so she's worried about him. Uh, rightfully so. He just kind of disappeared and has nobody's heard from him. So she's worried about that more than anything. And uh, I told her not to worry about the farm. I'll take care of it. We'll do what we need to do to make sure she gets the harvest off of it and can at least pay the taxes and hopefully anything else that Randy has taken out in loan. Now that way we can clear the the property of any type of liens on it so that she can do what she needs to do. 
I think she is seriously, seriously considering heading down to Florida. Uh, all of this since she has come back has just really upset her. I think she just wants to start fresh and be with some family. Her sister's down there in Florida, so uh, she don't have any family up here other than Randy. So I think she's really considering moving on back to Florida. She did mention about possibly selling the farm and said if I was interested, then I could have first shot at it. So I, I don't know if I can afford it, to be honest with you. Uh, the house is nice. It's a really nice house. And it's already set up really well as far as the storage buildings. So it would be a good piece of land to have around here. Uh, we have not started building a house here. We've got our little shack over there that we put in. My wife is really upset about living in that right now. So, yeah, we I've got to find another, another place to live. Because uh, this is not going to fly for very much longer. But I need some money. Need to make some money. So, as you can see, we have harvested that one small little field, and we're heading around this field here, and the tank on the combine is barely full so that's actually really good not good as far as profits but at least we won't have to uh, stop so much and unload and that's another problem I do have the silos here on the farm that we can transfer the material to but Miss Betty does not uh, she just does not have anywhere to store her goods so once again she has basically just told me to take it off to sell it. So she's not going to get the best price for it, but there's not really much else she can do. I was thinking about if we can get done with the fields here and see how much space I have left in my storage. Maybe I can store some for her. We'll have to see. I'm not real sure. Combine is actually doing pretty good. Uh, no complaints so far. Everything seems to be working out. It was cheap. It's doing the job. That's all I can ask for. Really hate that Randy sold the gleaner that Miss Betty had. That would have been good to have had. Wouldn't have had to buy a combine. But that thing is long gone. See the neighbor here has already harvested the canola and went and put some lime out. We did run a couple contracts. Uh, we did actually did a harvesting contract. Harvested some barley for a fella and got that taken off and sold for him uh, me and Tiny did that contract ourselves uh, went pretty well uh, luckily the fella had some pretty decent equipment so it was just basically us driving and it went went smoothly and we got all of that taken off and made a little bit of cash off that not a whole lot but that is how I've been able to actually get completely out of debt is by doing a little bit of contract work around these parts. Uh, the summer was pretty quiet here around the farm. <laughs> it just wasn't much to do. Uh, not having any fields of grass really freed up my time. I uh, didn't have to put up any hay or cut any for silage, putting it into the 
bunker silo, so uh, yeah, I had a lot of free time, so we took advantage of that and ran some contract work. So I want to go ahead around and get this combine full. Hopefully Tiny will get here pretty soon. I uh, actually forgot to get the auger set up, so we're going to have to get the auger set up before we can get this unloaded. Well, Tiny got up here before I was finished harvesting, and he's already got the auger set up over there. So I'm going to run down here with the truck. Get our first load of the sunflowers out of the combine. And then we'll run back up there, make sure everything is working good with the auger. And then we'll get to going on this field. Let me get the combine fired up here. Now this truck, mentioned before, holds uh, about 12,000 liters, I think, which is, I think, 4, 000, about 4,000 liters more than the other truck we had holds. So it will haul a little more, but not a whole lot more. We still need a trailer of some sort. Almost full here. Yeah, it looks about good. Don't want to get it too full and spill it over the sides. So the uh, tractor and the planter that they repoed from Randy, they actually were trying to sell it at the shop. And I had the opportunity to purchase it, but knowing I had to get a combine, just really didn't have the extra cash. So I chose not to, not to try and get it. So somebody's gonna get a good deal. Alright, let me hop out here, make sure I'm lined up, and we'll get this emptied out. Alright, Tiny's over there in the combine. He is just about full. We're going to run up alongside him here and get him unloaded. Don't go, don't go, don't go. There we go. He's getting a little excited about heading, <laughs> heading to the next row. See the old girls walking around in the uh, little travel path there for them to get over to the barn. I think they like those pine trees. They are starting to get a little bit of shade underneath them. And so it is a nice place for them to browse around. Those pine trees have grown all around the field. It actually ends up uh, providing quite a bit of shade for them. I think they really appreciate that. get over here and get this next load unloaded you see there across the way there's a new hay rake well it's used but it's new to me I ended up buying that a couple months ago I've had it for a while now but I really don't need it. Uh, I bought it on a whim. It showed up in the at the dealership. 
as a uh, trade-in model is used. And I had sold that Vermeer rake, and this is quite a bit bigger. So I figured I'd pick it up and just have it. But I haven't had to use it. So I may have wasted a little bit of money on that. I'm sure at some point we'll get some more, uh, more grass planted. So we'll use it eventually. I just don't have a need for it now. Well, Tiny is mowing through this field here. He is making short work of it. That header allows that combine to click along pretty good. So I will continue on to get this field knocked out. Alright, just got the auger moved out of the way. So we can close the lid on this silo here. We got just over 42,000 liters of sunflowers. So, nowhere near filling up the silo. So I have the other silo over there that we could put Miss Betty seeds in if she wants to. So, I'm going to ask her about that when we head on up there. Well, when I head up there. Tiny has already taken the combine up. You see the field down there is harvested. So all of the sunflowers have been harvested. So I'm going to ease on up here to Miss Betty's. And probably uh, go ahead and get Tiny unloaded. Now he's been up there a few minutes. So he may be getting close to having a tank ready to go. I tell you, I really like how these trees grew up here. That turned out really nicely. I wish I would have planted another row. Well, maybe next time. All right, up here, Miss Betty's. We're gonna go ahead and check on Tiny and see if he is ready to get unloaded. Let's see. He must have started over here. Oh, he has just made one strip. He's on his second strip, so... Yep, he's not ready. Alright. Why don't we go in here and talk to Miss Betty? See what she wants to do with her grain. Alright, we are headed down to sell the first load of the sunflowers off Miss Betty's field. Now, I will get half of the proceeds here. I kind of hate to take it from her. Uh, but we are doing the work, providing a lot of the equipment. Uh, Randy's just out, according to Miss Betty. Uh, he ain't here to help, and uh, he he messed up. So, anyhow, uh, Randy's out. Miss Betty's going to take her half, and we'll get our half. So, we'll still make a little bit out of helping Miss Betty. And, you know, I kind of just said, no, you know, just just take it and pay off what you need to do but she insisted so uh, she is a very persuasive lady uh, you can't really argue with her <laughs> so anyhow we're here up here at the gas station they buy grain so we're going to sell it here now you notice the truck is bumping around quite a bit as we come off here it is not hauling this weight very good um, I may look into getting some different tires and wheels see if we can't get a little bit more stability here so let me go ahead and get this sold well <laughs> I went inside talked to the little clerk there about getting the sunflower sold and she looked at me like I was absolutely insane uh, she said that great there has been there for years it's not working and they don't buy sunflower seeds so I'm headed down here to the grain mill I'm pretty sure they'll buy it that was a little bit embarrassing. A little bit embarrassing. Alright, let's see. I think we're going to go right down here. Alright, we'll get it sold here and head on back up to Miss Betty's.
All right, just leaving the green location. Got the last truckload sold. We ended up making six loads down here. Uh, five full loads and then a partial load. So total profit for that field was 50445 bucks. I get 25000 of it. I give Miss Betty her cut. But if I'm bringing the uh, truck down here. I want to see if they can't go ahead and put me some new tires on this thing. Uh, these are the tires and rims that come on it. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with something a little bit beefier. Help haul in the grain a little bit easier. Oh, wow. That is a beast truck right there. Looks like they have a big old disc over there as well. Anyhow. Oh, wow. Check this out. How cool would it be to own something like that? Wow. Anyhow, we're going to uh, get some tires put on this truck and head on back in. Alright, we just swung by Miss Betty's house here and dropped off her money. She was crying when I got here. Didn't know why, so we talked a bit. Come to find out, she heard from Randy. He's still alive. But he has been living off the grid. She asked him why. Why hadn't he contacted anybody? And she, he said he was scared. He didn't know if he was going to be able to pay back what he had borrowed. And so he decided to just disappear. So that they couldn't find him, couldn't come and take everything. Well, the guy has no sense. Because they did come and take everything. Uh, I I don't get him. But anyhow, he's been living off in the woods somewhere. In a tent. And uh, come find out, he got his truck stuck. So he needed help. And so he called. Trying to find out if... Maybe uh, Miss Betty could get somebody to come... Pull him out. Get him, uh, get him back home. So, I'm going to... I'm going to drive down here and talk to Tiny about it. He has that record truck. See if he can't go help out. Oh, Randy. Anyhow, got some new tires and wheels. Uh, they're good at upselling up there at the dealership. Got some all-terrains. Actually got duels on the back. And some spiffy new wheels. So the truck sits up a little higher. Kind of beefed it up a little bit. You see the corn is nearly ready. Now I didn't make as much money off of the uh, sunflowers as I thought. I have some to sell. I don't know that it's going to be that much. So I was going to try to make some silage out of this corn. But I don't know if I can afford a machine to uh, cut it with. I, I don't know if there's anything out there available that I can get. Maybe the dealership has something I can rent. I don't know. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I got to do something quick because I think it's going to turn a little too dry to chop it here pretty soon. So I guess if that happens, we'll end up just having to use the combine and get it in but I don't have enough storage I don't believe for all of the corn so anyway we're going to try to see if I can't get some way to chop this up and get it into the uh, bunker guess we'll see Randy back here soon enough too thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to click the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope each of you have a blessed day.